I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. I find the doctor. As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off.
Did I hear something? Ah, probably nothing. Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. Corpses do not have them. It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford's steric has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I hear a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Oh, my God. 